They're coming for me. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Elusive back again with another video. And before I get into the video, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. We're on the road to a thousand subs. Be here before a thousand. If you guys are interested in best class subs, tips and tricks, how to get better at best settings and nuclear gameplay, then this is the channel for you. Subscribe. It's free! But now that's over, as you guys can see, we're back on Black Ops Cold War. And in this video, bro, I was using the MP5. The MP5 slaps. But honestly, this was one of my hardest nukes ever. Literally, bro. Because I was playing practically the game modes with the worst spawns, kill confirm, TDM. Bro, they were trying to get me killed off my streak as much as they can, bro. They were legit spawning my team back green. And they were spawning the enemies back orange and in middle, bro. So literally, they kept spawning in front of me and behind me. And they were all focusing me, bro. They were literally doing callouts and everything. They were focusing me. Uh, they would go up the stairs from inside and outside. And they would be climbing up the ladder in the front, bro. I was literally being surrounded, bro. You guys are going to have to see how crazy this nuke was, bro. Because the anxiety was an all-time high in this gameplay, bro. You guys are going to have to see. Bro, I was scared as hell, no cap. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to show the gameplay first. Show the class up at the end. So let's get into the crazy nuclear gameplay. All right, let's go. It's time to use a weapon I have not touched in a while. Hell no. Nah. Ah, ah. Interesting spawns. What the? Hold on. I have the speed. I have like the double clamp speed mags on and this thing reloads slow. Kinda just has like a normal speed, bro. Did I read the name wrong? I could have swore it was double speed. Oh, no. Nah. Never mind. It's not a speed clamp. I thought it was. I looked at it incorrectly. Hell no. Nah. They're coming for me. Bruh. Bruh. They're literally spawning back focus spamming. Spawn back spam. Spawn back spam. They were literally only coming for me, bruh. And they were spawning them in middle map. How are you going to spawn them behind me and in middle map? You're making it impossible to survive when they spawn middle map. They're aiming straight for me. They spawn behind me. They're gunning up the stairs. I'm literally stuck. And then I get stuck with a damn Simtex like usual. Bruh. They're all coming again. I am gone. I love how they focus so hard, bruh. These dudes don't want anyone going on the street. Hell no. And this kid's just sitting there camping it. Thank you, bruh. Bruh. I know y'all see this. I know you guys see my teammates just standing everywhere. Window blocking, 
stair blocking, doorway blocking. What established above? I don't know what was established above. I could have swore I heard like enemy harp or something. Oh, it was. Let's see if I could drop a nuke this time and not get mad focused by the entire enemy team. So, we got thermal campers. You were spraying your life away. You thought you had it, huh? Bro, went straight back to the same corner. We got a smoke camper. I need a field mic. I see you coming after me. I was just waiting for your spawn protect. Bro. They're spawning them both sides again. They're just trying to make it to where it's not possible to get a nuke, bro. That's what they're doing. Like, they literally spawn them behind me, so I push forward in middle. And then they spawn in middle and in orange. Told you. They spawn flip them again. They're trying to play it extremely safe because I'm trying to get the nuke, but the spawns are literally not consistent. That's some kill confirming TDM spawns. Hardpoint be acting like this too sometimes. But nowhere like kill confirming TDM. Because they don't have a group spawn. Hardpoint has a group spawn. To where when a group dies or whatever. A team dies. They'll all spawn together. Bro. Kill confirm hard TDM don't have that. To where you can kill like two dudes. Then all of a sudden one dude will spawn behind. Another dude will spawn middle. Another dude will spawn forwards. Like what the hell? That dude got a grenade launcher in the window. Bruh, none of these dudes are pushing up. Now they're most definitely not gonna push up. He almost killed me off my nuke. Woo! He almost killed me off my nuke, bruh. I'm gonna call out the nuke now. Let's go, bro. That was a close one. God, my heart hurt, bro. Man, that was so close. I know y'all saw it. Holy damn. 47 and 1. Alrighty, brothers, what you guys all been waiting for, my MP5 class setup. This one I'm running on the MP5. I'm running the sound suppressor. I'm running the reinforced heavy. I'm running the 40 speed mag. I'm running the airborne elastic, and I'm running no stock. This isn't my normal class up that I usually run. I usually run uh, the raider stock instead of no stock. But you can run either one of those. You can run the no stock or the raider stock. It's just that the, the raider stock has a little bit more benefits with the aim walking movement speed. Which means you can kind of strafe a little bit better. Because it allows you to move faster while aiming in. You can also run an underbro field agent if you guys having recoil problems. Which the MP5 doesn't have any recoil. But 
if somehow you can't control the recoil you can slap on the under barrel and uh, take off the stock or the handle either one's up to you depends on your playstyle. if you're more of a running gun then you're gonna want st no stock or raider stock on but if you guys are more of a, a tactical player to where you don't move as much, then you're going to want a handle on because the handle gives you aim down sight speed, which makes it to where you aim in faster while not moving. And sprint to fire makes it to where you can aim in faster, practically what it says, going from a sprint to aiming in. So it just depends on your playstyle. But yeah, if you guys are going to run eight attachments, as I said before, under barrel field agent grip. For the body, you can run the target team spotlight or laser. And for the optic, run the micro reflex. But yeah, anyways, let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comments on the gameplay and how crazy that nuke was and how terrible those spawns were, bro. And how high my anxiety was trying to get a nuke while being focused and they were doing callouts, bro. But yeah, let me know what you guys would have done if you were in my footsteps, bro. Because I, uh, I was really trying not to die, bro. No cap. But yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to slap on the post notification so you miss the latest and greatest videos. And I'll see you later, guys. Peace.